My name is Howard Coopersmith. I'm the recently appointed chief geologist for Shefa Yamim. I'm a registered professional geologist with over 35 years of experience in mineral deposits and diamond and precious stones specifically. Um, since coming to work with Shefa Yamim, I've seen that they have some pretty exciting results in the, the Kishan River Valley and the adjacent Mount Carmel Highlands. Um, especially with some of the volcanic rocks there that have similarities to kimberlite, which contain diamonds elsewhere in the world, and diamonds and other precious stones such as natural moissanite and sapphire in the, the Kishan River sediments. So we're doing a systematic uh, sampling and exploration of these deposits, uh, drilling, bulk sampling by trenches and other geologic work to assess the potential for eventual mining either of the uh, river sediments as a alluvial mine or the primary source rocks and the, the volcanic rocks in the Carmel Mountains. So I'm designing a, a program to follow up on the previous results. Um, this program is a staged program of geologic investigation and, and, and sampling and looking at the minerals and from there designing further drilling and ver further sampling uh, to delineate possible deposits. This is a staged approach and there are various regions we're working in. Each region will have its own own stages, uh, some areas more advanced, some less advanced. Um, we basically start with small samples of 50 or 100 kilograms, analyze those, we move up to larger samples of several tons, say in the next season, uh, and move from, if those are positive results, we move to larger samples of several hundred tons. And we keep doing this and then taking more samples until we, we finally delineate a, a potentially commercial deposit. So while Israel is a non-traditional setting for the typical kimberlites and diamonds that are seen in South Africa and Russia, um, the diamonds are here nonetheless and the setting and the rocks we've found to date are similar to other diamond bearing regions in the world that are receiving exploration attention. So while it's not a traditional model here, there obviously is a model that fits these diamond deposits.